hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i thought i'd do things a little differently today just because i have found myself having a little bit of a probably analysis paralysis but in video making if that makes sense um i usually record on my uh, camera and there are just some days you don't feel like pulling all of that stuff out and so then I don't want to pull that all out or I don't want to get ready for the day. Yes, spoiler alert, I I mean I don't really wear a lot of makeup but I have nothing on my face. <laughs> I don't feel like it and I don't think you guys are here necessarily to see my face. Um, and so this is a little intro video. I'm going to insert a clip um, regarding that bag over there in particular um, but I thought I'd kind of do a little bit of uh, intro and outro so to speak on gathering my thoughts just because I had to quickly record that it is also summer break so all my kiddos are home and I have a few as you've seen in one of my intro videos so it's tough to find a time and space to record where something isn't going to happen in the background so anyway I have here one of my newest beauties. I haven't potted her yet or repotted her, but I thought I'd uh, include her in the video here. So really quickly, I um, again, I'll insert the video with regards to my thoughts on the Polen seam. And in all honesty, again, it, this it's an unpopular opinion. I didn't love it. Yes, I'm picky and I know that about myself in all aspects. Um, uh, but I guess I probably have very specific reasons, so I'll elaborate on that there. But I thought that I would kind of do a quick little comparison just because, you know, sometimes people are picky just to be picky. And I feel like they're, in my mind at least, there's rhyme and reason. So I, I'll bring you up a little closer, but here's the Polen seam. And... Uh, I kind of brought out, you're probably thinking, what's a Speedy doing out here? I brought out my Speedy because I feel like, do you see, I feel like they react very similarly and they're supposed to have that squishy vibe, but this is supposed to be leather. Guys, again, sorry, this is nasty, but uh, I'll never film if I have a million and one reasons. <laughs> so this is very squishy. It's meant to be. It's a tote. Um, it feels very much, although I'll tell you, again, I totally understand that this is this is a Louis Vuitton, so you would expect this canvas, even though it's canvas, to feel nice. But to the touch, this is much more soft and supple than this textured leather. So again, the biggest things on this, I'll let you know what bothers me in that video, but I thought that I would also kind of put this there just because for color reference I couldn't get a good idea of what that camel color was similar to or what shade it would be and I thought this would be helpful now sitting right in front and center is my mulberry mini Alexa you're like probably like what does that have to do with anything well in my review section of my Palencium I kind of mentioned the fact that I think I've come to terms with the fact that I don't really like I've never been like a Safiano leather lover I've never been one to really like like I've never really liked the textured leather from Polen however I never quite had an issue with it because I had the Polen numero un and I liked the leather on that just fine so maybe it's because it's in a more structured silhouette not sure what it is but this one's not right for me this is my favorite type of leather is a pebbled leather it's durable it's relatively carefree when you have piping like this leather by piping I mean these little bits um, it can be a little bit sensitive on those corners so it's not like you go around banging it everywhere but in general a pebbled leather is quite durable and I tend to just love the feel of them too so for example this is the dress up your purse I'll have another video for <laughs> all three of these all of these bags separately but um this is the dress up your purse paris 15 in a pebbled leather and it's just my favorite type of leather i know that about myself and i again i got that to be a work tote so i wanted that durable factor but it just feels cheap to me and i don't i i hate to say that but 
that's the fact of the matter. So that said, I also have a smooth leather bag here. Some of you are probably thinking blasphemy. How could you have a Louis Vuitton bandeau on a non Louis Vuitton bag? But I like it on here. This, this is a brand called Kai, K-A-A-I. And I have another tote from their brand. She's just a little too big for me. So I gave it to my daughter who's starting school. Um, but this bag is a smooth leather and so there are some smooth leathers out there that are quite durable and quite um, hard wearing like this can take water and you don't have to really worry about it but I do like a variety of leathers so while I realize that a textured leather or saffiano leather is not my thing that is not why I dislike that bag I was fully prepared to embrace that leather particularly for the way I want it to wear that I want it to be hard wearing and stress-free but I think that with some of the issues that I have with it where it kind of tilts over and falls over although it's standing there just fine um, it just doesn't feel nice and these are bags all at different price points here and to be honest with you this is the lowest in price and it feels almost the most premium I say that while looking at my mulberry and honestly this feels the most premium to me but these are at two very different price points and the seam just it just didn't shine you guys it just did not so I'll not say too much more about that but I thought that for those of you who are not as picky as me might want to kind of get a, a general sense of what the color is like so let me move this away next to speedy you see it's kind of brown I'll move that to the side no need to see this one but so you get an idea of its color it's actually a beautiful color it's a bit richer than I thought it was going to be and I was hoping for that so I'm bummed because I really love the color of it but I'm just not a fan of the style so this isn't to say that I don't I won't try any other pull -in bags I actually really like their pebbled leather it's really nice really hard wearing probably harder wearing than this mulberry and mulberry is known to have very durable leathers um, but I mostly wanted to do this to give you a sense for the color range that this falls in so anyhow I'm going to insert the clip here of my very raw thoughts on the Pullen seam and we'll come back afterwards good morning it is a Friday morning here kind of a nice day out but I am here with a video guys I'm venturing out and using my phone so no judging my nails but this is my beautiful manicure right now I had to share this with you guys while my reaction was as raw and real as possible but I ordered the ever popular you hardly can make it out unless uh, <laughs> even I can't make it out can you see the embossing nope no you cannot barely there anyway this is what I ordered the pull-in seam and um, it came really nicely packaged. I love when a box is kind of flush like this and I've already undone the tape. So I'm gonna be overly dramatic here, but I opened it up last night and I guess this is gonna be a video of an unpopular opinion. So spoiler alert, I'm gonna have an unpopular opinion, but beautifully packaged. I really, really like it. In that regard so it came just like this with the dust bag there I have been a long time customer of Pullen and I have seen recent videos where people don't super love the dust bag but the felt one was really nice but it was honestly really thick and if you're gonna store your bags in a dust bag it shouldn't be super thick so I actually like this one. I think that's an improvement. It's a super breathable canvas. It is a little bit more of a felt material on the inside, but nonetheless, we are not here for that. We are here for this. <sighs> I don't know, guys. Um, 
I'll be honest with you. I'm not thrilled with this bag. Um, you know, taking it out this morning, it's not as bad, but the leather, I guess I've come to the realization that I definitely have a certain leather type I like. I definitely lean towards a pebbled leather. I love a smooth leather, who doesn't? But nobody wants to stress out about that. However, um, I bought this to be a carefree bag. And so I didn't want to worry about it. It's meant to be a work tote for me. And I'm just really, that was probably my first reaction. I didn't love it. Now here's another thing I purchased a numero un uh, probably probably around a year ago and I returned that bag right away I bought it in the black in the regular size and the glazing was super gummy on it and I decided that was not going to do for me so I really thought on that and pondered on that because I really wanted to love that bag but I, I knew the glazing was gonna come off I I kind of have a good sense for what's gonna bother me and what's going to last I'm not super hard on my bags as I've shared in other videos but um, I sent that back thinking it was a fluke on that bag because I have a I had past tense a uh, Polen Nano my daughter has had the Neuf she's also had a Nano in this same textured leather I had it in the smooth leather which was beautiful um, She's had the Neuf and the Pebbled Leather. I'm definitely a fan of their Pebbled Leather. I think that's a, a product that shines for them. Um, and anyhow, none of those really had the glazing issue that I'm noticing with these newer bags. So, and I'm looking at this closely. You probably can't make those little, oh, you can kind of see it there. But there's some bits there and that's usually where it kind of starts lifting and I, I don't want to mess with this because I, I'm returning it um, so yeah anyhow again spoiler alert and I'm sorry I'm gonna have an unpopular opinion because I know there are a lot of people out there that absolutely love this bag and I'm just not one of them so my first issue is the leather I think what really bugged me right away were the straps they're super thin and <sighs> don't come at me when I say this but they feel a little h and um, I'll just leave it at that um, they're they're thin and they're floppy and maybe that's what will make them more comfortable but I didn't I really didn't love that uh, it, it just I think it'll help for them to like flop over because you have the two strap detail goodness I'm fumbling a lot I'll get better at filming these one day but I just don't I don't love that and I'm kind of taking a closer look at the stitching it's not bad it, it honestly isn't bad but it's not my favorite like this little spot here not that it needs to be perfectly straight but um, the inside it feels nice but it doesn't feel like a high quality suede granted I've taken into consideration when I've paid for this and I know this is not a luxury bag but I do know what and I have come to expect great things out of Polen and this one the numero uno I thought was a disappointment and again really I blame that on the glazing but this one just just doesn't feel great to me um, the other thing I really didn't like I hope you can kind of see <laughs> the zipper on this um, this I'm sorry guys but this just feels so cheap it really does and there's no way I'm not a fan of these pouches anyway so let me be honest on that but um, I just I you know when people kind of come after brands and then you just see all these videos pop up on this brand's quality has gone down and this isn't great and I honestly thought that some of that was just people being extra but here I am joining the extra parade it's just it doesn't feel great um, I'm not gonna mess too much more with this bag there's plenty of reviews on what fits somebody may call this bag I was gonna say somebody may call this home I'm a realtor guys don't come at me but um 
this it's not for me I'm just I'm not gonna use this now something I was surprised on is the color and I'm in a room with no overhead lights on and um, natural daylight is coming through I have windows along both sides here and so this is probably coming off pretty true to color and I don't know I feel like the box there looks ugly and um, I have to say I love the color I was actually really nervous about that and that's probably another critique Poland gets is that um, the colors sometimes it's not true to color from what you see on a screen in translation to seeing it in you know real life in person and um, I have to say they I think they've probably improved on that but I actually really like the color so this is the, again the regular size seam in the camel I was super torn between the camel and the cognac and I thought that the cognac was just gonna be too red in tone for me and my wardrobe um, so I'm kind of bummed because I really do love the color and again if I manage to figure it out I'll put in some mod shots of me putting it on not all is bad not all is bad I just I would say consider me a pickier person my other handbag friends and enthusiasts definitely call me that way but I'm kind of at a stage right now where I can't just plop down thousands of dollars on a luxury bag I love handbags and um, I love them at all price points but this is not an inexpensive bag I believe it was five hundred twenty dollars and Although most everything has gone up in this inflationary market, I feel like this just isn't justified. These tassels on the side here, I got this because I wanted to find something to replace my Neverfull. That's a video for another day. But, and, so, and I'm, I'm drawn to the tassel look, but again, it just, it doesn't feel great to me. I'm kind of like trying to the stitching is you know honestly it's all right I know some people end up having issues with the stitching and as I'm looking around stitching looks great um, but yeah I'm just not a fan so I'm gonna leave it at that and actually really quickly let me kind of show you guys this someone had mentioned and a lot of people have mentioned it doesn't quite stay put and I did find that to be the case so I can confirm that to be true <laughs> and that was probably gonna be another problem for me to be honest I need it to stand up and it really does for the most part that was another surprising thing but yeah this this just wants to do this which is completely understandable with the style of the bag so I already had come to terms mentally that I was not gonna have it standing up, but that's probably another thing I'm kind of surprised about is it does a decent job standing up. So anyhow, here is my unpopular opinion of the Polen seam. I'm sorry that I'm not joining the happy bandwagon. Um, it's just, it's not for me. All right, everyone. So picking back up after I've shown you some mod shots and shared my thoughts on the Polen seam. Um, as you could tell, I, I was very being very cautious with my words because I don't like to completely rant on something when, um, you know, it's, it's not that serious. These are handbags, and while there are several of us who are very obsessed and love them in the grand scheme of things, there are more important things in life. Um, but I wanted to share my thoughts, and unfortunately I am. I'm packing this beauty up. Sorry if I rambled on at all. Um, I had, my husband works from home, so he was coming back down. It was getting to be lunchtime, so I was like very randomly trying to put my thoughts in very quickly, but... The, the truth of the matter is she's getting packed up and being sent back. I've also come to terms with knowing when something sparks joy. I know that sounds so cheesy, but I know when I really love a bag now. Uh, when I open it up, it's love at first sight. And there's two bags <laughs> in this frame shot that didn't give me love at first sight. Um, and that's a video for another day but um, I hope you found this helpful uh, you know in this inflationary market um, it's so important to spend our dollars wisely and 
I, although I have the luxury of space in my closet, I do like to keep a curated wardrobe and so for me it is very critical that whatever enters into my closet is something I'm going to get wear out of and moving forward I want to just take note onto my initial cues and how I feel when I open something and I was sharing this with a friend of mine and clearly I have lots to say but I was sharing this with a friend of mine I'll kind of rotate some eye candy here that I remember when I was purchasing pull in bags for myself and my elder daughter um, my daughter is the one who had I mentioned in my kind of review portion of this video the nano and we've had we've had our share of pull in bags and um, my initial reaction to them I thought was skewed and tainted with my love at the time for acquiring different higher end brands and so I love all handbags and can look at them you know again three very different price points here um, I just if they work for me and they work well and I feel like they're a great bang for your buck I I'm going to be happy with them um, however I remember that my initial reaction to pull in was that it was all right I think when people say that it's in the mid tier range and compares to coach or you know some other brands like that and I can really speak to coaches I've had a ton of bags from them in fact I probably should have brought out my Lana to put in here um, I would say that it is very much a mid-tier brand I don't think it teeters into the luxury realm now they are getting up there in price and so that's probably where I'm feeling like it's not quite as justified anymore granted things cost more to make labor costs more all that to say however I do feel like that's this is their space and this is where they can win because they have and provide beautiful unique silhouettes and I love that about them but sadly none of them just have ever worked out for me they're either too small I either have an issue with the glazing or I really don't like the feel of this one for example they just haven't quite worked for me and I'm disappointed because I love the brand I do think that they're doing a great thing in the space the very necessary <laughs> space of handbags um, but all that to say um, unfortunately it's not for me and um, I think that my initial assessment of Polan is probably really and truly where it's at. While I appreciate their beauty and I appreciate the silhouette, I'm not a true fan of their leather um, and, and I keep into mind what price point it's at, but now that it's starting to creep up, I don't know that I can justify purchasing anything moving forward at this time, but certainly they're always coming out with great things. So. Anyhow, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, this this beauty is going back, and um, I do have one other unboxing that, not unboxing, but one more newer bag that entered my collection because as I shared in this video, I purchased this and the other one, completely different bag by the way, <laughs> to replace my Neverfull. Uh, that'll be a different video, but I hope you find this helpful and again I'll stop rambling thank you for hanging out with me I know this one's a little bit longer but I had a lot to say and I will see you guys in the next one bye